What's good, YouTube? It's Megan Raquel, and you're tuned into my channel. Um, I'm sure you're a new subscriber, so just go ahead and head over to the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, cut on your post notifications for more videos from me, Megan Raquel. Until then, let's get to the video. We're doing another Christmas activity today with the kids. Currently, right now, we are grabbing something to eat at this place, Southern City Kitchen. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get here yet, but. Actually, I do know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get that short red. Uh, but that's what we're currently doing. And then we're gonna go to this place called Secret Secret Santa Stash after this. Daddy's Trying to take in all the Christmas activities before this weather goes down to 10 tomorrow. Then we in the house till Christmas is over. <laughs> so I just want to take y'all along on a journey with us today um, as we enjoy some more Christmas festivities before Christmas begins. Happy. <laughs> Yay! It's the happy food man. <laughs> got some salmon. Wanna look yummy? You gonna chow down? Mm. You blowing it, but thank you. Potatoes, yummy. Thank you. You're watching, and I'll get some ketchup for you. Okay, and then she's missing her fruit too. Oh, side of fruit. Yep. Now I got a little turkey sandwich. Yeah. So we about to chow down and eat, and then head over to Santa's Secret Stash. On our way to Santa's Secret Stash. What? The? Why can't you put our worms in there? <laughs> okay. It is so pretty out here. So this place is called the Avalon. Um, it's actually in Alpharetta, Atlanta. Well, Alpharetta, Georgia. Alpharetta, Georgia. And it's so cute out here. So we're going to do a little B-roll because they playing some Christmas music and I ain't trying to get copyrighted. It's not that cold, I guess because the buildings is um, covering us. <laughs> I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Cake from Milk Bar. They have Milk Bar here. Um, music. 
actually it's kind of loud, so this is gonna be real quick. And then uh, Naya got which one is that? Nutella. She got a Nutella donut. Yummy. He's doing what he do best. Santa Stash House at the Avalon in Alpharetta, which is like 20 minutes from Atlanta. So we finally made it home. I'm about to take a shower because I need to replace my Faha and my phones. Um, I was actually going to end this vlog, but I know some of the girls that, you know, follow me uh, on my surgery journey. They wanted to see, like, how you put on like, your Faha with all the lipo foam and ad boards. So, I'm going to try to show you all that before I end this vlog because I'm about to go upstairs and take a shower now. So, the first thing I do before I hop in the shower is I get my ice so I can ice myself while my new Faha is in the washer. So, um, you must ice yourself at least once a day. Um, for 20 minutes, which is what my sister tells me. So I get my ice, my ice pack, because I'm going to take off this Faha. I got my other Faha um, altered. Uh, altered yesterday. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit. I was gonna take it to my mousse tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to wash this one. And while it's washing, I'm gonna try to ice myself. And then once it gets out the washer, I'm gonna fluff it, like not dry it, like with heat, so I don't want it to shrink. Um, I'm gonna just put it in the, the the dryer to you know try to air dry as much as possible. Um, and while it's doing that, I'm gonna take my shower. And then when I get out the shower, I'm gonna get it. Hang it up to let it finish air drying. I'm going to take my time, ice myself. As long as I don't go over an hour, I'm going to be good. Um, and then we're going to put the Faha back on. We're going to put my foams on, which I'm only wearing the side foams. I'm not wearing the front foam. Um, so I'm going to show you how I put my side foams on and then how I put the ad board on the front and my ad board on the back. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to get this footage for y'all. So let's go. Take a shower. Okay. So I currently have my Faha in the what's that thing called <laughs> the washer um i'm gonna ice myself now so i'll just take my ice and i cover it with something like real thin um and i just ice it i just ice the, ice the area so you just want to ice the areas um i actually have three i actually have like a big body wrap for an ice pack excuse my daughter y'all you know moms can't take a shower by yourself i got my seven eight month old in here and my two year old so it's loud but i just you know ice this um areas i gotta be on and i'm gonna do this for about 20 minutes and i'm gonna take my shower so do this before you get in the shower it helps you helps you with swelling and it makes the swelling go down so that's what i'm doing before i get in the shower and i'm gonna do it again when i get out the shower for like 10 minutes and i'm gonna put everything back on and that's what i'm gonna pick back up with you all at. these things right here are seven cent. I do not take a shower without these. They have, and this one they have peppermint, they have another sweet orange, lavender, menthol, menthol, uh, y'all know what I mean. Pomegranate, rose, lemongrass, and coconut. Eucalyptus. Y'all know what I meant. Eucalyptus. <laughs> okay, so I just thought about it. My faha, you put on, you put your faha on without underwear. So I'm trying to figure out. How I'm gonna show y'all that without showing my private area. Um, so just in case I can't get it as detailed as I want to, I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I put on. Um, so this is a compression shirt that I was telling y'all about. Uh, it, it's just like a regular like racer back shirt that I got from Amazon. Let me know if y'all need the link for it. Um, I'll try to put my links in the description box, but you know if y'all need them, just let me know. Um, so I put this on first, and I'm actually, and this is actually long. You don't want it bulging up in any any area. So what I do is I cut it at the seam and then I tuck it. So I may be able to show y'all after I do that because I am it's gonna be tucked past my private part. Um so I put this on. Um and then I put my foams on, which these are custom made foams that my masseuse made me because I don't need the big ones anymore. So I'll just put this like on my sides. This is my, my front ad board. This is my back ad board. Um, my Faha and my sports bra because I wear sports bra on top of everything um, because the, the Faha sometimes it like uh, cuts me a little bit so I have these bra extenders to put on there which helps me a lot 
my ice packs that you already know about. I'm about to put some Neosporin on my incision. And I'll put some cushion on it because like I told y'all, the ad board was causing my cushion to be irritated. Uh, I want my incision to be irritated. So let me put this, well, let me cover my incision real quick and let me put this on um, and then I'll check back in with y'all to make sure I'm fully covered so that I could show you all the details. Okay, so I have my shirt on, so I'm about to ice for another like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna put my faha back on. Okay, so I have my faha on. This is my gauze, um, so just ignore how that looks right there. So y'all see how this looks like it's almost impossible to put on? Like, y'all, you probably feel like we can't even squeeze this. But, let my masseuse tell you, you can and you're supposed to. And then imagine, I don't even have my lipo foam in yet. My back ad board in yet. Or my front ad board in. So, let's go ahead and put these in. So your ad board, this one that's custom made for me, like I said, is different. You're going to put it on your sides to compress that area. So I'm going to probably have to take off my sleeve a little bit. And then I just shape it to where I can fit. And then I slide it down to kind of right where my incision is a little bit. Yeah. Kind of. I'm probably have to fix that. Okay, and then the back ad board, the flat part goes against your back. So you want to put this in. Put it into where it's like the T bone of your butt, kind of. Not even kind of. Like it's like the shape of your butt at the top. Like the T bone part. You kind of want to measure it up to that. Um, so, and then I'm going to put on the left side. And I'm already hurting. So I need to hurry up and compress. That's all that that means. And then that's that. Now, what I'm going to do is put my arms back on. My ab board is going to just go straight in like this. And the way that I know how to put my, how far to put mine in is however, once it covers my incision. That's how I know. Just trying to make sure my stuff is positioned right before I start the process of closing my faha. This is going to be hard, so I'm probably not going to be able to get this next part on camera because I'm going to have to go lay down. When you lay down, it kind of helps you compress and be able to like put it on. So that's what I'm going to do right now, is lay down so that I can put it on properly. And I am officially in my file. And that's all to it. That's all you do. Okay, so I'm fresh, I'm clean, I'm feeling good. Um, I was only able to get into the first hook. Uh, my, my spouse actually had to help me. But I really could have went on the second hook because I feel myself loosening up already. So I'm going to probably try to do that before I go to bed. The good thing is, is I go see my masseuse tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. So whatever is not right, it'll be able to get changed soon. Um, at least I don't see her like days and days away. At least it's like tomorrow morning, bright and early. Um, so that's good. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. 
um, however I may be talking all the time. As a matter of fact, let's end this vlog tomorrow after my Miss Lisa Foreman so I can update you all on another before and after. And just in case I have to tell you y'all anything else about my fall, uh, I'm going to wrap up this video tomorrow morning. So I will see you all in the morning. Finally, I had a good masseuse appointment. Um, it's crazy the amount of changes I've seen from a few days ago to today. I'm about to insert it before and after as soon as I'm done. As soon as I'm done talking to you all. Um, so I'm back in my uh, large faha. So the faha I was in yesterday was my extra large faha, but I got it taken in two inches on both sides and like an inch and a half, inch and a half on like the pelvic pelvic area. Um, so now that that still fits, I can still wear that one. But she wants me to wear this large one more um, because how it compresses me um, towards the bottom. So I'm back in the large, uh, which I'm gonna probably get this taken in here soon. Um, other than that, I had a good good um, appointment. Um, excited with my results. Like I said, I can't believe the amount of change I've had. Uh, important thing that I want you all to also to understand is not only is it important for you to get your massages, like I can't, I can't state how important it is. Um, it's crucial for you to get your massages, but it's kind of like, you know, when we send our kids to school or we do other things, like the work is really done at home too. So yes, you want to go get your massages, but when you come home, you have to make sure that your salt intake is not a lot. Like, I'm not saying just cut out salt completely. I mean, if you can, cool. But if you can't, um, at least back it up with, with water. Um, that's something that helped me um, as far as my recovery process. And when I say recover, I mean, like, decreasing my, my swelling, decreasing my discomfort. Like, today, like, I was basically able to enjoy, like, my full massage. Like, it was a few uh, spots that y'all see me jump on that still kind of hurts me and it's because we're still catching up from from um you know not being able to go to her on time but uh for the most part me doing what i'm supposed to do at home icing like i showed you all you want to ice at least at least once a day if you can get in twice do it twice for 20 minutes icing your your area that you got worked on um taking drinking six bottles of water a day spring water yes six bottles so just think of it as taking a bottle of water drinking a bottle of water every two hours um and if you do drink salt make sure that you back it up with water as well like like drink double the amount of water if you can um but just try to decrease your salt intake which is it actually will help you in the long run like if you eat better um it'll show in your body and your, your your the rest of your body be looking fly too other than the areas that got worked on so those important um Important things that I want y'all to take away along with getting your massages and along with everything else that you're doing drinking your water icing um, making sure you wear the correct faha making sure all your stuff is in there intact your ab board your back board your, your lipophone everything everything goes into play when it comes to getting the results that we want the optimal results that we want so I'm gonna check back in with y'all probably in like a week um, with more pictures but for now um, here's my before and after from the previous few days to today a huge a huge difference y'all even got a side view of how I look because I know I showed you all the front which the front is drastic but when you look from the side it's like dang you really did that shout out to my masseuse like she the best she she educates me gives me all the knowledge make sure I'm right in my faha making sure my faha is good making sure my supplies is good like and I'm so glad I found her too because not only does she does my massage as well but the faha, like y'all know I was complaining about my thighs. Like, I don't care about being compressed in my stomach. Like, I wanted to be compressed. I wanted to, you know, feel good. But the thighs, like y'all, look at the marks I have. 
from the other fajas I was wearing, like Marks, because it was like so tight. And in this faja, it stretches, it fits me so good. It's not like cutting off my circulation. It's so comfortable. So not only is it compressing me right, but it feels wonderful around my thighs as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, but I'll check in with y'all again in about a week. Um, any questions you all have, just drop it in the comment box. Y'all know I always reply back and help you all. Um, I'm going to also put my masseuse's information in the description box again, her name, her Instagram, and her website because you're also able to go to her to purchase your Faha, your ab boards, and all that stuff. And it's great. And I'm not just saying that because she's my masseuse. So glad I found her. So glad I have her Fajas now. Um, so I'm going to put all her information in the description box. Don't forget, we're still doing our 7 Days of Christmas giveaway. Um, actually, before we get out of here, let's hear a word from our sponsors. This video is sponsored by the number one investment academy in the world, showing you how you can make money online with stocks, forex, cryptos, and practically any way to make money online. If you are someone who's looking for a way to make an extra $500 to $1,000 plus this holiday season, this investment platform may be just for you. I mean, check it out. They have investment academies, what you see here, that's giving you the back-end education that you need in order to understand exactly what you're doing in this investment world. They're giving you access to their million dollar mentors, educators who's showing you their exact secrets and what they use in the investment market and what you could use that will allow you to multiply your money this holiday season. If you're someone who just needs extra money or just needs extra money for this holiday season, I mean, let's face it, this year has been a tough one for a lot of people. This investment platform could be the answer for you in order to secure a nice holiday season and even have extra change in your pocket. To learn more or to get started, go ahead and email partnerwithdrf at gmail.com and they will show you exactly how to get started. Happy holidays. And we are at the end of the video. So Megan Markel, this YouTube channel is going to mainly focus on uh, my laser lipo journey along with my daily vlogs when it comes to being a full-time mom. I have three kids. My life is crazy. It's hectic. It's all over the place. And I'm a serial entrepreneur along with my spouse who is a serial entrepreneur as well. You all may know us from our other YouTube channel which is also known as the rich family with the d da the rich family where we talk about a lot of investment resources we talk about forex we talk about crypto we talk about a lot of investing things recently i got my surgery on november 3rd um and i've been just you know showing my journey of my laser lipo it has been a wonderful oh, journey shit. i am so Super happy with my results so far. Um, I'm super happy with my results so far. However, my The Rich Family channel was made, you know, strictly for our entrepreneur journey, investing things and such. And I feel like my channel was clashing because I was doing a lot of laser lipo and vlogs. So I figure I'm just gonna go ahead and make a brand new channel, Megan Raquel, this channel that you're on right now, where I'm gonna be posting my entire laser lipo journey along with my up-to-date laser lipo journey. So you're probably watching this video. Um, I'm recording this segment. Um, I'm going to be dropping more content as far as, you know, my laser lipo journey. I am about to be a uh, three months post up here soon. And I'm going to also be doing my vlogging. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure your post notifications are cut on. If you're, you know, looking to get laser lipo, skin removal with Sonobello or whatever um, business you're using for your surgery journey, maybe you have questions or whatever it is. Type it in the comment box. I'm very good at replying back to comments and I do answer all the questions in my future videos because um, like I said, I'm going to be doing way more content than you all see right now. So this is going to most likely be a segment that's going to be placed at the end of every one of my videos until I get to the newer videos. Um, I want to make sure you all see my journey from the beginning to where I'm currently at. So with that being said, I'm going to make sure I upload my surgery day, um, my first week post-op, whatever. I'm going to make sure I upload everything for you all um, and then I'm going to continue continue my journey on this channel um, giving you all more up to date content which I'm actually going to be shooting footage tomorrow because I have tomorrow's my massage day um, so yeah make sure your post notifications are on make sure you subscribe to this channel thank you all for tuning in thank you all for supporting and I will see you all on the next video bye, bye, -bye.